So I've uh, progressed quite a bit uh, with the rebuild. I've uh, fitted the, uh, the steering rack and uh, the steering column. And uh, I've also fitted obviously the heater and the windscreen wiper. I've also fitted the, uh, the rear axle and the rear suspension. Uh, though at the moment it's not fitted correctly at the back because I have to wait until I take it off the uh, rotisserie before I can uh, connect those up properly. I've also done quite a lot of work in the boot area. I've got the uh, rear bumper supports in. I've got the uh, petrol filler in and uh, the lights are now on the back of the car. I fitted the, uh, the wiring looms, the rear loom went in very easy, as did the front loom and uh, I'm now just about to start fitting the dashboard. Well, that's the uh, dashboard now fitted and uh, I've also uh, bled the brakes and I've got a pedal so that's good so what I'm going to do now is to lower the car down off and take it off the rotisserie and uh, get it onto its wheels. Well, fast forward a day and uh, there she is, down on her wheels. Uh, first time for uh, just over three years. So now, next job is get the engine and gearbox out and uh, get them into the car. Okay, so uh, that's the engine and gearbox fitted. Uh, went in uh, very easily once, uh, once I worked out that uh, these engine mounts here that go onto the body are handed. So you have to have the right one on the right side. I'm going to fit a new exhaust system which is a nice branch manifold and I bought this because the uh, the exhaust manifold when I took it off the car was was cracked and I thought well if I'm going to have to buy a new one I might as well have uh, a mod which was uh, used when the car came out so that's a uh, branch manifold had to uh, modify down here a little bit cut it away because when the uh, branch manifold goes down there it too would have caught the web uh, just needs a little bit of clearance so I'm going to fit that now I also had to modify the uh, carburetor heat shield I uh, had to make an oval cut out you can see where the uh, pipe sticks through but um, that's now sorted the exhaust is fitted to the car fits nicely underneath just a continuous pipe and then I and I've taken it out straight pipe at the back. You can see I've uh, also fitted uh, most of the engine ancillaries including uh, nice second hand air cleaner and at the moment I'm waiting for a radiator which uh, is on back order but hopefully I will have that within the next uh, 
two or three weeks. So I'll be able to put that in and uh, get the engine started. Can't wait. So we're about a month down the track now. Um, I've uh, changed the uh, seal in the windscreen. Uh, dismantled the frame, put a new seal in, put it all back together. Quite a simple job apart from that uh, I had to drill a couple of the screws out and re-tap them, put them back in. Then I fitted the windscreen which was a, a mammoth task. I had to uh, enlist the help of my neighbour to, uh, to sort of compress it down while I got the bolts in. But after a lot of struggling managed to get that on. And then I've refitted the hood which um, again was an absolute struggle. Uh, I think it might have been because the uh, it's a little bit cold at the moment. I heated the garage up with my space heater and uh, that seemed to help a bit. But yeah, it's going back together reasonably well. So the next job now is I'm going to uh, drop the car back onto its wheels, push it across to one side of the garage and cover it with uh, uh, tarpaulin and uh, make sure that uh, nothing can get anywhere near it and then I'm going to turn the rest of the garage into uh, a spray booth and spray the front panel, the doors, the boot, front wings and, uh, and the bonnet. When I've got all those done, I'll pop them back on the car and we should be getting near to a road test. <laughs> 